Before getting started, you're going to want to make sure that you have Unlimited Elements for Elementor installed and activated on your WordPress website. Inside of Unlimited Elements, search for Slider Gallery using the search or navigate to Media Widgets in the categories. Hover over the widget and click Install to add it to the Widgets pane inside of Elementor. I'm going to search for the widget and drag and drop it into my canvas inside of the page builder. The first setting is for gallery item source and over here we have a couple of different sources which I'll take you through. The first source is for gallery and gallery means that we're using the Elementor gallery field. Over here in the gallery field you have an option to add dynamic tags if you want. So you can populate this using a WooCommerce product gallery or an ACF gallery field if you're using advanced custom fields. Let's edit our gallery and see how we can add images into the gallery. So I'm going to upload some images over here from my computer. Let's upload them to the server. And as you can see, each one can have a caption. You can also reorder them over here and insert to the gallery. Over here in the gallery, we see all the images that we've uploaded. At, at any time, we can click Edit to edit. Awesome. So this is our gallery, we got it set up. Let's jump into the general settings and see what we have over here. Over here we have an option to autoplay. Now the next two settings are connected to autoplay, so they will show only if autoplay is on. That's the autoplay interval, so if you want to make that a bit slower. And also you can choose that when you hover over, you can see the progress indicator pauses. This means that it's not going to move once you or transition once you're hovering over the gallery which is pretty popular so that's why it's the default you can control the gallery with keyboard you can turn on loop on or off you can preserve the ratio image fit so for example I'll just change that to contain so you can see how that looks transition we can change to fade instead of sliding which is also pretty awesome let's go back over here to two seconds so you can see that a bit faster and that's how slide looks you have an awesome option for the transition speed so let's push that up to one second to make that a bit slower and you can really use any of these settings to customize this you have an option to zoom maximum zoom ratio loader type all that stuff the next part is for layout now over here you can see there are all sorts of buttons and controls which you can turn on or off the first one is for text panel which is turned off right now which is for this panel over here which can hold a title and some description we can also decide to show that panel only once we hover over the gallery which is pretty awesome you can also change the fonts the background color over here the position of this so this part of layout is just for turning on or off different parts. Let's turn on some arrows. Let's turn off the text panel. Turn on some bullets. So now we have some arrows and bullets to navigate our gallery. So that's about this part. The next part is for connected widget settings, which is actually two features. The first feature is for remote control widgets. So for that, you're going to need to turn on remote connection. Let's add a new column over here, and I'm just going to throw in some remote controls. So we have remote arrows, we have remote bullets, and let's add a remote counter. And you can see that these are automatically connecting to the left side over here. So it's actually separate widgets. Now you can see I'm using the arrows to navigate. I can use the bullets to navigate. And what's nice about this is that with this technique, you can achieve advanced layouts. So add as many of these as you want, position them however you want, style them however you want, and you're going to achieve really special and customized designs. The next example I want to show is how I connect this to a different widget. So I'm actually going to add a content accordion on the right side over here. I'm just going to make sure it has the same number of items. So we have five images. So I'm going to duplicate one of the items over here. And again, inside of the content connected widget settings, I'm going to turn on sync. 
Now you need to do this with both the widgets for it to work. And once you've done that, these two widgets are going to connect together. And now you can see that the accordion is corresponding and moving together with the gallery. So each item, as long as they both have the same number of items, they're going to be synced together or synced between each other, which is really awesome. You can add as many as you want to sync together. And you can do this with any widget from the widget library that has this section. And a lot of widgets do carousels, sliders, stuff like that. You can really achieve a lot of awesome stuff. You can connect this to hotspots and uh, do some really cool stuff. So let's delete that. I think you got the point. And let's jump back into the gallery sources. Over here in the gallery sources, the next type is really important because a lot of people have been asking us, how can I achieve a gallery with images and videos together? So this is the solution for that. And once I do that, the gallery field has gone away. And over here inside of gallery items, we can set up our items manually. And over here, you're going to see some of the items have a video icon. Now, how do we achieve that? You can jump into any one of the items. And inside of item type, you can choose image, YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia or a self-hosted HTML5 video. So any one of these are supported and that will just add the video icon and you can play this directly from inside the editor and inside the gallery. So once I click play, it's just going to show me the video over here. And then you can always, the user can always close that. Of course, once a video is playing, the autoplay is going to turn off if it's turned on. So really powerful feature. Next feature is for Instagram. So if you connected your Instagram account into uh, unlimited elements, you can show your Instagram images. If you don't know how to connect your Instagram, just go into unlimited element settings and you have an option to connect your Instagram account over there. So that's pretty awesome, pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go into that too much. The next part is to show your WordPress post. Now this can support custom post types but right now it's let's just jump into gallery post query which is the new section that has been added once we've selected the source to posts and you can see that we can show all sorts of type of posts and any post type that we want so i'm just going to leave this on in posts but let's include only desserts and cocktails so that's the first thing i want to do now once you select more than two terms you're going to need to change this from and to or because we want them to have desserts or cocktails not both of them together because they don't and I'm going to add a filter now before I add a filter the most important part is to go into the post pagination and filtering and enable post filtering our filters are built as a separate widget again like the remote controls to give you the maximum amount of control of the layout and design so let's search for tabs filter and I'm going to push that on top over here in the term selection I'm going to include by specific terms of course you can use this any way that you feel most appropriate but this is one of the simplest ways without going into all the advanced settings and I'm going to save the page view it in the front end because filters work only in the front end and now I can filter my gallery look how easy that is I mean I'm jumping into the desserts showing me only the desserts jumping into cocktails showing me only cocktails and all is showing me both cocktails and desserts together that's pretty powerful so let's delete this and add our gallery again let's see the next kind of source that we can use with our gallery. So the next kind of source is for products. And again, this works very similar to how we've done it before. I'm not going to go into all of the settings, but now we have a products query. And what's nice about this is that we have advanced product selection. So over here, you can decide to show only products on sale, upsell products, calls, cross-sell products, out-of-stock products, recently viewed products, or even products from post content, which is pretty awesome. And really, there's a lot of ways you can use this and take advantage of this. So 
that's pretty awesome and the last gallery source type is for advanced users who know how to use meta fields who know how to use custom fields and add them to your posts so you can do that and add an ACF and then over here you have an option to put the meta key and it's going to populate the gallery with that said if we jump into style we can style every little aspect of the gallery so if I'd like to go into the play button which is over here and I'd like to move it to a different place I can decide that's going to be in the center of the page rather it snapped to the left or something like that and now it's in the center of the page you can put the offset offset uh, meaning horizontal or vertical and move each one of these to any place that you want on the page I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video